All right, today is June the 5th, 2016, and we're watching the uh, eastern U.S. water vapor loop, and we see a uh, 990 millibar uh, weather system right here just north of the uh, Great Lakes area. This has a right angle forming on it from a transmitter, and uh, that transmitter is applying heat and creating some uh, clockwise rotation right here at the corner. You can see that clockwise rotation right there. And that will eventually pull this frontal system right off of the core over time. And, you know, by maybe tomorrow or something, we'll see uh, this uh, low pressure will be, the core will, will uh, remain uh, spinning, but the uh, this frontal system will peel off. And that is uh, the uh, transmitter doing its work. Let's go ahead and take a look at the, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at how, how straight that, frontal system is as it shapes up. See that's a fairly clean looking right angle. Uh, this is a, a nice straight edge right here and uh, that's not mother nature folks that's a transmitter run by uh, some sociopaths uh, probably in the Air Force um, and uh, so we have uh, more obvious weather manipulation here occurring and we're watching that and uh, also down here we have a, a tropical storm, and this has been uh, targeted all day long. And uh, we'll take a look at that. Let's look at the uh, uh, eastern U.S. Uh, rainbow loop. We can see that right angle as well right here. That's a 990 millibar uh, system. Down here we have a 100, uh, 1,003 millibar a tropical storm. This is uh, right in the Gulf of Mexico now. That's moving up towards uh, Florida. Let's go ahead and take a look at that in the uh, National Hurricane Center map. And they've named this one a uh, colon right here. 35, well, 40 mile per hour winds, core pressure of 1,003 millibar. We have uh, movement north at uh, nine miles per hour. Let's see what the track looks like. And it looks like it's going to pass, it's forecasted to pass right over Florida and out into the uh, North Atlantic. Okay. All right, let's take a look at the uh, uh, the pressure map for the Atlantic area. And we can see that that uh, storm right here is marked as a uh, 1,003 millibar system. And that could strengthen. Uh, these waters are fairly warm, 83, 85 degrees in that area. Okay, let's go ahead and look uh, at the uh, at the west coast. This is the northeast Pacific water vapor loop, and we can see uh, we've got a low pressure system here spinning. Uh, this is not really marked on the uh, maps, but it is right just uh, across from Southern California. And we had a lot of chemtrails spring today because of a moisture field uh, moving through. We can see the remnants of that moving into Arizona. We have another field right here moving in uh, to uh, Southern California. And uh, so we should expect to see more chemtrail spraying uh, tomorrow, uh, Monday. And right now at uh, 9.50 p.m. in the foothills of Los Angeles, we have a temperature of 67 degrees. The uh, relative humidity is 48%, and the bar uh, barometer is reading 29.92 inches. We have a dew point of 47 degrees. We had hot weather today, and we also had a lot of chemtrails, which uh, started up in the morning hours and lasted all day long. <clears throat> so uh, we should uh, expect to see more chemtrails tomorrow uh, because of what we're seeing right here. We've got the plains are, are out spraying all through this area and also through this uh, moisture field right here. And we have two disturbances uh, down here in the uh, tropics off of Mexico. One here and one way over here. These are both 10%, I believe it is. 10% chance of hurricane formation. These have been targeted all day long. We can see the blast pattern right here on this one. You can actually see that better in this view right here. Good blast pattern. Okay, let's look at the uh, western U.S. water vapor loop. We can see uh, 
low pressure right over Nevada. That's delivering some rain up into Oregon, Idaho, part of uh, Nevada there. And here's that moisture field moving right towards Southern California. And we can see some high pressure right here building out just in time for this moisture field to move in. So uh, I'm not sure what they've got uh, planned, but it looks like more uh, high pressure is being installed right here. All right. Let's look next at the uh, infrared loop. see some moisture moving right towards Southern California. So I would say the chances are probably about 90% that we'll see the chemtrails tomorrow morning once again. But notice how this is dissipating. This is really drying out as it moves into uh, the Southern California area. All this moisture looks to be uh, dissipating as it moves towards this high pressure that appears to be uh, being installed there. If we go back to the uh, water vapor loop, we can see this high pressure right here. This is all being built out right through here. And now that will affect what happens way over here. So uh, once again, that's fairly obvious weather, uh, weather manipulation. Okay, here's the uh, surface analysis map. We can see a <clears throat> trough of low pressure indicated right here. We have those troughs still in place uh, right over the uh, west coast. And we have a low that's indicated to be moving due east right here. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. Let's go back and take another look at the uh, water vapor loop here. This is what we were just looking at. This is moving, according to the map, it's moving due east, this thing right here. Okay, so we'll keep an eye on that. All right, here's the east Pacific water vapor loop. We can see that disturbance down here. This is being blown apart. And we can see a very uh, clear uh, blast pattern right there. Let's go to the uh, infrared loop, same thing. We can see a very uh, clear uh, blast pattern there and diminishment in the core. Now here is the uh, visible loop. We can see the Photoshopping right there. They've got some overlay right over the top of that thunderstorm, and uh, they're hiding their work. You can actually see the beginning of that attack right there. There's a dimple. But they missed that. Okay. Let's look next at the, uh, this is the Gulf of Mexico. This is a colon, tropical storm colon, I think it is, right here. And this system has been blown apart all day long. This is just the latest a thunderstorm system that is uh, showing up on the map. We can see some blast pattern evidence right here. And also right beginnings of a new blast pattern right there. Uh, you can always determine the blast pattern. It looks like little icicles, like what we're seeing right, right there shooting out. Okay, here's the visible light mode and we can see all the Photoshop detail. Just uh, stop that and uh, you can see the thunderstorms here starting to bubble up right here and then the uh, day to night transition and we can see all the, uh, look at all that Photoshop overlay right there. So they're hiding their work. Now earlier today we had some really good evidence, but I had things to do, couldn't get to the camera and do make the time. But uh, there's the evidence right there, evidence of cover-up. Okay. Okay, so that's pretty much the summary for today. We can see that right angle. That's man-made uh, weather manipulation, obviously. Mother Nature doesn't create right angles on... Uh, storm systems that's done with transmitters. We'll just leave it here and we will uh, we will uh, do another update tomorrow.